Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class in Chemistry Laboratory. Today, I will be performing a pre and lab lecture on the analysis of group 3 cations. What I would like you to do is to observe keenly, carefully, and write your observations and answer the questions in the lab guide. Now, if you're going to look at the laboratory guide, there are two methods which are used there. We have the lengthy method, and the other one is the shortcut method. So, let's use the shortcut method or the direct test in testing this group 3 cations. So, let's start with the analysis of the ion manganese. So, I have here a mixture of the ions. We have here the manganese, we have the cobalt, we have the iron, and we have the zinc. So let's try to test this mixture of the different ions by applying the different procedures in order to obtain or detect the ions. So let's get five drops of the mixture of the ions, which are manganese, iron, zinc, and cobalt. One, two, three, four, five. To this, we're going to add 10 to 15 drops of the concentrated nitric acid. Then let's add to this sodium bismuthate. Observe what happens to the color. What color have you observed? The next ion that we are Ms. going to really go. The next ion that we are going to analyze is the iron ion. So let's get again five drops from the mixture of the ions and test for the presence of iron. To this, we are going to add uh, to this mixture of the ions, let us add this with the concentrated hydrochloric acid until acidic. So when we say until acidic, we are going to determine that point that this mixture will become acidic when adding with hydrochloric acid dropwise that this blue litmus paper will turn red or will just turn red. So we will drop this into the mixture, then add this with the hydrochloric acid.
So the blue litmus paper just turned red. Then let's add potassium thiocyanate to this mixture, which has been acidified with hydrochloric acid, drop by drop. And I want you to observe what happens to the color. Look at the color. So to compare, a while ago, we have tested the presence of the manganese. We're going to look at the color. Then for the presence of the iron ion, look at the color. Next, we are going to analyze the cobalt ion. So let's get a few drops of the unknown mixture. Then, let's add to this hydrochloric acid until it will turn acidic. So, let's put a blue litmus paper. Let's put the blue litmus paper and add this with hydrochloric acid. Now, the solution is already acidic because the blue litmus paper just turned red. And after adding this with the hydrochloric acid, let us add the stannous chloride. until the solution becomes colorless. Almost colorless. Some more stannous chloride. Get colorless. Then let's add to this the potassium thiocyanate. I want you to observe what happens to the color. And let's add acetone. Observe what happens. The next ion to be analyzed is the zinc ion. So let's get some drops of our mixture of the unknown ion. Then to this, we are going to add acetic acid until acidic. Acetic 
So when we say until acidic, let's test the blue lipose paper that it will just turn red. Paper just turned red. Then we will add to this five drops of the thioacetamide. After adding this with thioacetamide, we are going to warm this in the water bath. I want you to observe what happens to the mixture after it has been placed into the water bath. So what are you going to do next is to write all your observations answer all the questions given in the lab guide and submit your output next week that would be all for today this is your teacher professor desitas ruiz of holy name university